Hello theorists, this is Neil here again with Option Theory. It is August 17th, 2020, and it's time for our portfolio recap. And, uh, hey, there I am. It was a pretty good week. We made $301 in profit over this past week. And on Mondays, since we do not get a trade idea from our cherry bomb, we just do a portfolio recap, take a walk down probability lane, look at some of the trades that we've put on or closed, and overall just portfolio, I guess, uh, checkup is what we do. So thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, we build out a portfolio of cherry bomb trades that come from Tasty Trade. In the description below, you should find a link to be able to sign up. We appreciate your viewing for my longtime viewers. Those of you that even watch these recap videos, which definitely have the smaller amount of views, I appreciate you. I could, if I could give you a thumbs up, I would. So, all right, I just did there. How about that? Thank you. All right, on screen, you can see here we have seven positions on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And also, I have my little uh, Trello trade tracker over here where we have our open position column are closed for profit and those that we have closed for losses right and uh yeah that's that right so we have color coded here as i drag them over to the mostly i've been dragging them over to the profit so that's good although of course i don't claim to be the guy that does nothing but uh profits and uh, you guys are only going to make money that's why we're here right we we practice we put our theories to the test all right so First thing to note that right now our portfolio, if we beta weighted to the spies, is overall delta negative, right? We would love for the SPY to be going down, which if you then take a peek over here where I have this custom watch list of futures, you'll notice a lot of green on the screen. And for the bulls, that's fantastic, right? Over here, we can see the S&P uh, futures overnight are up almost four tenths of a percent which means we're likely to feel some pain uh, today, assuming that it stays moving in that direction. All right, so do note that if your portfolio is similar to mine because you've been putting on these trades in your portfolio as well, then uh, brace yourself. Okay, with that said here, we can see that I have it also organized here or sorted by highest profit percentage uh, to lowest. So right now our biggest loser is going to be the Qs right, which is a, I believe, a $2 wide vertical. And it is a, oh, it's tough to see here. Since I increased the font size, <laughs> it's uh, it's tough for us to see uh, everything on screen, but maybe these numbers are easier for to read. That's why I did that. Anyway, let's head on over to what I'll call uh, the probability lane here. We're looking at cues now, and it is a, okay, so it is a short call vertical which has blown through, and we're looking at a 41.7% probability that it will uh, end up in the place that we want. And what are our days to expiration on guys here? So Walmart's closing this week, and the queues are doing it. Uh, okay, so next week. All right, so we have some time. Hopefully we'll see the queues come down some for us, but uh, we know it's defined risk. So we do have a couple of undefined risk trades on right now and United Airlines and Kodak. Those were the two most recent trades we put on last week. All right, back over here. Some of these probabilities are a little off. I think AMD is a little wonky. But uh, so Walmart is a short put vertical and we're looking pretty solid right here. Okay, uh, looking at 90 one percent probability of us collecting that we're not quite at uh at 50 percent yet but uh you know we're getting close we should see uh, assuming that the market moves up and some uh you know theta decay here we should get some get close to that 50 today all right united airlines we just put on we're looking pretty good there uh possibly could have even closed it but and truth be told i did also put on a a trade in my uh IRA account last week. I can't remember which one it is. We'll take a look at that at the end. The United Airlines, we're still looking at an 81% probability of profit on that one. Spies, we're in an iron condor. We'd love to see that come down just a smidge and we could take that off. But we see that it's probably going to test us some more on this side. We're still looking at a 64% probability. We already did the cues. Thank you very much. 
Kodak here, we're staring at a 68% probability of profit on this one. Uh, although if it's true that things are mean reverting, uh, then we're probably headed down some more too. Which So I, I kind of expect to feel a little pain on this one. All right, and we're back over here. And to IWM is an iron condor, much like our um, spy one here, which is probably why we have a lot of our negative deltas, because we love to see these guys come back down again. Um, but we're still looking at that 64, so probabilities are still in our uh, favor here. And then there's this guy here, this AMD, saying 100% probability, and look at this giant gray area. Something's weird here. So I, I messed with the date. I can't get that to go away. Not sure what the deal is there. So I, I can't, uh, no probability lane trip for us on, on AMD here. So it does look like it were, uh, you know, not on the good side here of this trade. Okay. That was that. Let's go to the account statement tab here. We can see, let's go back seven days, clear this guy out here. And you can see the trades that we put on. Oh, I don't want IWM in there. Thank you. There we are. <clears throat> All right. So we closed our um, Southwest Airlines trade. We made a profit on that one. All these guys were profits. So TLT was a close for a profit. We opened up Costco and closed Costco on the same day for a $60 profit on that one. Uh, that was one of those trades where I was like, I wouldn't really put this trade on. And as soon as I think I got like 25%. Um, in in an hour, and I was like, bye bye. <laughs> so United Airlines was also a uh, recent trade here that we put on. It's a dollar twenty credit, so we're looking to take this off if it gets to uh, sixty cents. I think we set an alert on that one. And Tesla, this is the real shocker. We were down almost three hundred dollars at some po a couple of days for this trade here. Never in a million years did I think it was going to come back as fast as it did. So when it reached a ninety-five dollar profit, I took that one right off. And Kodak, this is the big speculative one here on this one. Although I shouldn't say big, we're really risking four hundred ish dollars on this one, uh, and we'll hope that it doesn't go out of business. Some people are banking lots of money on this one, and uh, you know I can appreciate why it's a low underlying. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I'm sort of a trade, small trade often kind of guy, but, uh, people in the comments section for that video were talking about their large position sizes and I applaud their courage. All right. So that is our portfolio recap for this week and our outlook for the day. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. If I've earned your like, would you consider hitting that like for me? I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's first cherry bomb of the week. Until then, happy trading.